I've experienced anxiety and panic attacks my whole life and didn't really know what to call it. And I think that's something a lot of young people struggle with is having a name for it. And, you know, I got called dramatic and I got called all of these things that nobody was like, hey, this is anxiety and this is a very real thing that so many people are feeling. Like, So I ended up having like a massive breakdown after massive breakdown for a couple days in a row and then finally just went to my parents sobbing and I was like, please take me to therapy so I can at least have a name for this. I got my diagnosis and that's what I feel like validated everything that I had been feeling for so long. BPD is borderline personality disorder. I found balance with my BPD by finding out my triggers is a huge thing. Like, if you know things that consistently are messing with your mental state, then you can start to eliminate those things or replace those things in your life. You start to realize these things and you start to notice patterns. Like if you feel something that triggered you, maybe write it down. And then if the same thing happens, go back and look what you wrote down. It's like, this has happened like three times this month. And you can start to find these little pockets of time to take care of yourself. A huge thing to overcome that can be hard, especially at a young age, is breakups. Right after a breakup, Feel everything that you want to feel, even if it contradicts what you think you're supposed to feel. If you're angry and then two minutes later you want to bust out laughing, you can absolutely do that because that's what you're feeling. Don't let yourself force you to be over it. You don't, there's no rush. For me, my sensitivity allows me to connect with other people way easier than a lot of people because I can feel what they're feeling and I think with being a sensitive person comes natural empathy and I think that that's really important. Start a conversation because I guarantee you there are people around you that are feeling the same thing and really everybody just wants to be heard. Every single person that you meet just wants to be seen for who they are and I think a way to be seen is to see others. If you're in a position where you can't help yourself, maybe help somebody else and the cycle will continue and I think we'll all just build a better and more loving and understanding community. I have felt <laughs> every emotion that there is to feel during all of this. I feel anxious about what I'm gonna eat tomorrow, let alone like, what is, what's my job gonna look like in a month from now or a year from now? One of the biggest ways to alleviate anxiety in that nature is to just be present and really focus on the things that you have control over. A huge thing during this quarantine has been like celebrating myself for the little things. Even if it's as small as getting out of bed and brushing your teeth and taking a shower, I mean, find one thing a day that makes you proud of yourself. If you have anxiety, you are not alone. You get stronger every single day and I am so much stronger in my own mental state than I was even a week ago and you learn and just hold on, you know, just make a commitment to getting through things because you will. You've done it before, you'll do it again.